Screen recording started. Okay, so here's the Litchi app, and you have to go to the map area, the map screens that the live view, and from here you can start uh, select the uh, little uh, drawing stick, crayon or whatever, and we can just draw where we want this to fly. So this is the batch waypoint setting. So let's, for default, let's make everything uh, 201 feet, okay? Um, rotation will be, uh, I guess, uh, anti-clockwise when it gets to each point. Uh, we'll disable the gimbal pitch and we'll hit apply. Now when you hit the apply, uh, it puts all these points on there for you. Now you can press any one individual uh, point and move it out, move it in, which, whichever you like. Now, once you have all your points there, and again, if we hit number 11, uh, you can see the altitude is 201 feet. Um, you know, we can hit number 14, altitude's 201 feet. So we can grab any waypoint and lower it, you know. So now waypoint number 14 is at 75 feet. <clears throat> okay, uh, let's move the map over and let's try to look at waypoint 11 over here. So this is waypoint 15. We'll go back to 11 and we'll just move this over. So waypoint 11 is also at 201 feet. What we'll do is we'll actually raise that to 376 feet. The curve size is 72 feet. That's the blue line. We're not having it go uh, straight to the point. We're making it do with some curve. So as you move the slider here, um, you'll see the curve moves. Uh, all the points of interest, I've always selected none. Uh, which means that it'll just stay uh, face and heading, uh, you know, the way it normally uh, would, straight. Um, so, this would be um, the route. And again, you know, we could grab any other one. Uh, 200 feet, we'll, we'll lower this one to just 70 feet. The curve size... You know, we can make it a bigger curve. And as you can see underneath the number three, if you look real close, you see the curve going out towards the line or going in? That's that's what the curve is doing. I, it might be a little hard to see, but if you look under number three, as I slide it back and forth, you'll see the curve. Um, <clears throat> you know, I'll do it here. And you can watch the curve by number three. See how it goes more of a straight line instead of smoothing in from two three and four how we're going to make that short curve okay and then um if you go all the way back out this is good to go so you can click the down arrow and we can save this and we'll call this youtube test okay uh you know, now you would be in live view. Uh, you would connect your connect your drone. Um, if this isn't up, like so here, I'm gonna. I don't want to. I'll have to clear everything out. Clear map. Okay. So uh, you put your drone on. Get everything connected. You hit the upload, and you click the YouTube test, and you load it, and there it goes. So now that it's loaded, all you do is hit the play button. Um, you need to be five meters in altitude, um, and then switch the controller to the F mode, and then it'll upload the flight plan, and it'll uh, proceed on with the flight plan. Um, once it starts playing, this little play button here, the, the bottom icon, turns to a pause button, and you're able to pause the uh, flight. Uh, you know, if you're doing a search or something, you can actually pause it um, uh, and then just hit 
play again to continue. Um, so uh, I had one flight today, was successful, and I have another one planned for tomorrow, which I guess you guys can see here. I'm actually going to fly from my house to my buddy's house, which is just about a mile, uh, just 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 about a mile away. And the reason I'm not going straight across from like one to five, <coughs> excuse me, is because that mountain, that that tree area where the train tracks are, that's up about uh, 500 feet from my ground, from where I'm taking off of. So I'm making a little bit of a uh, of a curve here to go a little bit lower area and I'm going to come in over the lake and here's this house it's built now but so we're going to pass the house we're going to make the turn we're going to come back past the house and then we'll finish up at the waypoint there okay I hope uh, that explains a little bit about the waypoints on the Litchi for iOS